Union Home Minister has released rupees 655.60 crores to flood affected Bihar from the State Disaster Response Fund and an advance from the National Disaster Response Fund. Flood situation in Bihar has impacted over 12 lakh people in the state. Major rivers are flowing above the danger mark, leading to many people being displaced. Sitamarhi and Darbhanga are the worst affected districts. Indian Air Force has joined the relief operations as the deluge has engulfed a large part of Sitamarhi and Darbhanga, where it is a very difficult place to reach with relief materials. Special choppers of the Air Force airdropped dry ration packets and relief materials. This, in fact, in the visuals, what you can see is the current situation of Bihar. These, remember, are drone visuals that we are bringing you, aerial imagery of places which, in fact, now look like rivers that have completely been deluged and inundated by these overflowing river waters from mainly Koshi and Gandak. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, as you can see on your screens, undertook an aerial survey of the areas inundated as a result of the release of millions of cusacks of water in a barrage along the border by Nepal, which was battered by record rainfall over the weekend. 16 teams of the NDRF and 14 of the State Disaster Response Force have been pressed into service for the safe evacuation of people. Evacuation operations are being consistently conducted, people being transported to safer locations on boats. Meanwhile, we could also see political leaders spring into action, be it Union Minister Chirag Paswan, who was seen wading into the flood waters to distribute relief materials, or independent MP from Purnia, Papu Yadav, who was also caught on camera riding his motorcycle through these flood waters as well. The Chief Minister has consistently been taking a stock of the situation. He has already done an aerial survey as we bring to you the visuals of. Paswan has taken a boat ride to Saharsa district before wading into the flooded waters to re provide relief materials to victims. <laughs> These are the visuals that we bring to you of the overflowing rivers that has caused this very flood. The Indian Air Force on Tuesday itself, in fact, carried out these rescue and relief operations in remote areas of Sitamari and Darbhanga districts of Bihar, which have been ravaged by the floods. This is the kind of chaos, disruptions brought into the civilian life of people, locals who used to reside here, who have now been moved to safer locations. More than 12 lakh people affected because of these floods. Over 100 villages of these districts have been submerged within this flood waters after Bagmati and Koshi rivers were breached. They breached their embankments at five different places on Monday. The disaster, ma disaster Management Department has asked, uh, decided to engage the IAF helicopters after Chief Minister Nitish Kumar carried out aerial survey of the district affected by these floods. Water Resource Minister Vijay Kumar Chaudhary, Principal Secretary to the Chief Minister Deepak Kumar and the DMD Additional Chief Secretary Pratya Amrit were also on board the chopper with the Chief Minister during the survey, bringing to him all the developments on the ground with regards to how the rescue operations and how the evacuations are being conducted on a daily basis and how distribution of relief materials is also being operated. Reports from the DMD have said that about one million people of over a dozen districts have been facing the worst kind of floods due to the record discharge of water from rivers in Nepal. Remember, this has happened because of the record-breaking rainfall, a late monsoon that in fact arrived in Nepal, having flooded several areas in Nepal as well, a story that we'll bring to you subsequently. But currently, these are the visuals that we're consistently bringing to you from Bihar.